welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is about the appliances in my kitchen. I get a lot of questions about the appliances we went with and why we went with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an overview of all the appliances in the kitchen. And then later on, I will do specific videos of each appliances. This is my breakfast area. I designed this thinking this cabinet is going to have everything for breakfast. We have our Miller coffee machine. It's plumbed, so that means we don't have to put water in all the time. I love it. And right below it is the Miller warming cup drawer. I have not actually used this warming cup drawer. You just sort of nudge it and it opens. Mistake that I made is that I am five feet four. I tried to fit so much on this cabinet that I feel like I kind of forgot about the functionality of it. If I'm making coffee, I can reach this just, you know, perfectly fine. All of that is fine. It's just that this warming drawer, all the controls are on top here. If I need to set it up, I will, I have to be on my tippy toes. However, I think you just set it once. It will be nice to have hot coffee in a warm cup. This is our coffee slash tea station. This machine has hot water and the hot water comes out of here. We have everything we need for our teas, these tea bags. We have our honeys and we have our toaster. This is a wall toaster. It was like $500, but now I'm regretting why I bought it because like everyone in my house hates it. I still need to use it a lot to understand why they don't like it. Kids like making uh, peanut butter sandwiches and whatever, so I guess they put this peanut butter thing. We have the Fisher and Pico cool drawer here. If you look at it, you won't tell. I paneled it so it can just look like the cabinet. I did this here because this milk jug goes over here. And I figured whenever we have milk and we're done using it, remove it from here and put it back in here so it keeps the milk cool. And the other thing of why I did this drawer here is because this is our breakfast table. So when we're having breakfast, we can have condiments in here, ranch, ketchup, whatever. It's easier to reach the condiments here than going to the main refrigerator that is over there. I wanted this space over here to sort of be uh, self-contained. I was hoping that I would be able to fit another drawer under for breads and pastries. That way, everything pastry would be here. But after it was all designed, I realized that I actually don't have space for another drawer here for for breads. The next appliance in my kitchen are these three appliances here. And the reason why these three is because I was thinking about, again, how we're going to be using our kitchen. The main microwave is here. It's a Miller microwave. And I went with the Miller microwave because I was doing the Miller steam oven. When I was designing the house, all these things I picked out in 2019, this is 2023 and we just moved into the house. So in 2019, Miller made the plumbed steam oven. I'm from Uganda and we eat a lot of plantains, or in my language, we call it matoke, and we steam the matoke. I wanted to have the steam oven so I could steam my matoke, which is mainly why I got it. But of course, all the other benefits of a steam oven, you know, steaming vegetables, and then I had to match it so they were all the same finishes over here. Now, this is a vacuum seal drawer, and you kind of push it in and it comes out. And this vacuum seal drawer is by Wolf. I haven't used it yet, but it's nice. We always have leftovers. I shop at Costco because I have a big family and shopping at Costco means if you buy so many meats and stuff, you can vacuum seal them and freeze them. But the other part that I like about it is I love champagne. My dining room is like right there and I have these Sub-Zero wine columns. If you open your bottle of champagne and you just want one glass, you can actually come and vacuum seal your champagne so that it doesn't lose the gas. And I decided to panel it because these two are Miller. This is Wolf. I didn't want the finishes to like look sort of different. These are not appliances, but we have our bread drawer here mainly because we eat there, this is where the breakfast session is, so it made sense to have all the breads over here. This is 
my Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. <gasps> I love this thing so much. Mainly, look at how big it is. This is 36 inches and this is 36 inches. So 72 inches of fridge and freezer. This is the refrigerator on this side. Hi, taxi. This is our freezer. Now we get onto the island. We did two dishwashers. They are Kov, which is the same company as Wolf Sub-Zero, and they started making these dishwashers. I decided all these things in 2019. I don't think they had even produced this yet. They were in production because I didn't even see one before I put it on, but I love Wolf, I love Sub-Zero. I also was thinking about functionality of things, so I read reviews and I tried to pick things that were best for the function, which is why I have Mila over there, then I have Fish and Pico, and then I have Wolf Sub-Zero, but all the things that I thought Maybe other companies did better. I went with those, even though like my heart is like Wolf Sub Zero. I always envisioned having like a Wolf Sub Zero, <laughs> everything. This dishwasher is on right now. Can you hear it? And you know how you know it's on is because there's a light down here which shows that it's it's on. I'm super, super happy with my Cove dishwasher. I don't know that these are considered appliances, but I'll just talk about them a little bit. This is my Kohler 45 inch stages sink. I just wanted a simple sink. There's so many things that have so many bells and whistles, but I just love how simple this sink is. I've talked about it before. And then we did an Instahot, which hasn't been hooked up yet. You see, it's like just moving around. We're living here, but there's still stuff that need to be done. The cool thing that I love, it's this glass rinser. I wish this thing was available when my kids were younger and I had to wash water bottles. You just press down and it just shoots water up and it cleans whatever gunk that may be in a glass. And over here we have a dishwasher soap dispenser. I love it. I like, I don't know how I ever lived without this thing. It makes life so easy. It keeps things so organized. Now let's get onto the wall for the stove. We are going to start off with this Wolf Speed Oven. This does both. It works as a microwave, but it also works as an oven, which is why they call it a speed oven. I wanted to have two microwaves in my kitchen because if it's leftover there, which like once, at least once or twice a week, we eat leftovers. I wanted to make sure that if someone is heating up stuff over in the main microwave, that we have the option to heat up stuff. I removed the racks in here because we're mainly using this as an extra microwave. And then on days that I'm hosting or uh, holidays, I like the option of having a microwave and an oven. As well. Now we head on to my uh, wolf range. I've been in love with this thing for God knows how long. I like really, really love cooking. I cannot wait to do a review of everything I love about it, but this was like my dream range. It has two ovens. So technically in my kitchen, I have four ovens and having this like full size oven in here, like two full size ovens. And then I have the speed oven and then I have the steam oven. It adds so much. I also love this griddle. I've used this thing so many times. Our vent hood is called Best, and I think it's 1200 CFM. When this thing is on, it's like a jet engine. Let me try to turn it on, on, uh, on full. Like, can you hear it? When I'm cooking and I have this thing on, I'll walk around the house and the this, this smell of whatever I'm cooking is very, very minimal. This thing does a really good job. Our appliance company guy recommended it. And when I read reviews, like everyone loved it. So we work with this. Over here, this is plumbing. <laughs> really, not an appliance, it's just plumbing. I love having a pot filler. There's two types of people. You either love it or you hate it. I'm on one of those people that absolutely loves my pot filler. The final appliance in my kitchen is this warming drawer. I've used this, it's a wolf warming drawer and I put it here because if I'm making food here and some is ready, I can just put it in here 
and close it. All my kids are in uh, activities. So there's been times where we have to have dinner when one of the kids is not home. And what I like is instead of leaving the food out and then they can dish off and microwave and then I have to put it away is I'll dish off food for everyone and whoever is not around, I'll put their food in this warming oven and when they come back, it's there and it's warm. It doesn't dry out food. So you can leave it in here for two hours, three hours, and it will come out like how you put it in. I like really love my warming drawer and I love it so much that I actually even put one in my outdoor kitchen. When I go to the pantry, I just have a couple of appliances, appliances there, but I also feel like the pantry is part of the kitchen. So let's go in the pantry. So we only have two appliances in my pantry and one of them is this refrigerator that I love. This is the Samsung four door flex fridge. This freezer down here, you could convert it into either a fridge or a freezer. So when you want to open it, this is where the handle is for it. Like you open it like this and close it for all the extra things from the kitchen that we don't use like every day. And of course we have extra freezers down here. My absolute favorite, actually one of my top five favorite appliances in the house is this Scotsman ice machine. I love this ice so much. This is the Sonic ice. It has air pockets like air bubbles in it. So it's easier to chew and I love chewing ice. I feel like even the drinks you have when you have like this, this Sonic ice, this pebble ice, like they, they taste better. And I put it in the pantry because Ice machines make noise. I don't want to put it in the kitchen or family room and TV room and the kitchen. It's like pretty much all one room. I didn't want to be watching a movie or a TV show and then the ice machine goes off and starts making noise. I still use it every day. It's not that far from the kitchen. This was the full appliance tour of my kitchen. Every single appliance that I have, I've enjoyed showing it to you. I want to use some of these and then I'll start making reviews of each appliance what I recommend, what I don't recommend, what I love about each appliance, and if they all met my expectations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what other part of the house or what video you want to see next. Thank you so much. I will see you next week.